Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of creek fishing, and I'm actually going to be trying out a lure that I've never used before, and that is this little Nico Caddy Fly, which I got both sizes it comes in, the 1.5 inch and the .9 inch. So, this .9 inch is really teeny tiny, it's even smaller than the trout magnet, uh, than the trout magnet, so I don't think I'm actually going to use this one today. I think I'm just going to focus on the little uh, one and a half inch here, but this is a lure that uh, John from Creek Fishing Adventures recommends, recommended to me, and I finally got it. Um, I just got it like a few days ago, and it looks really good. Um, like I said, it's a one and a half inch bait. I think I'm just going to fish it on a trap magnet jig head, and it should be able to pull pretty much anything out of this creek. Um, it'll probably mainly catch panfish, which there's only, I've seen bluegill and I've seen yellow perch in here. Uh, the only thing I've actually caught out of this creek is bass, because I've only fished it a couple times and I was going for bass pretty much. So today we'll probably go run into some different species and uh, hopefully find out what all is in here. So anyway, let's get fishing. All right, y'all, well, I got that little uh, caddy fly rigged on this trout magnet hook. And it turns out I forgot my extra GoPro battery. So this is gonna be a one hour session of fishing pretty much. And uh, I'll try to make the most of it. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish. Wow, the creek gets a little bit deep right here. Uh, well, not really, but I'm gonna go upstream. I'm at a different spot than where I, w where I was yesterday, and uh, I'm, s I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish up here. We got something. There we go. What is this? Oh, it's a little bass. That did not take very long. As soon as I got out of that really strong current. And up to this uh, slower pool. That was like my first cast in the slow pool. And it's a baby little largemouth. Well, I switched to a little tiny little lure. I'm still catching bass out of this creek. I mean, bass would definitely eat like a small lure like this. But uh, I'll probably, I'll pr I still think I'll probably mainly be getting a little panfish. But that's not a bad little, little bass. That is definitely a really good sign because I caught that fish super fast. So. Ooh, there he goes. Oh, he's swimming. Yeah, all right. he might get flown down to that next pool, but oh well, he'll be okay. Oh. Got something, ooh, there we go. Little sunfish, I think it's a red breast. Ooh, man, dude, that is such a colorful red breast. Dude. That's a really cool looking red breast. I mean, a perfect. I don't think a red breast gets any better looking than that. I've got to get a picture of this guy. Oh, it looks like his colors were going away, but no. I got to take a picture real quick. All right, well, that is a cool little catch. I'm going to release him up there and he should be good to go. The bass, I think I released just too close to that current. So I'll, I'll make sure to release the other fish like that way. Wow, something took that thing already. So far I've noticed that this little caddy fly does not really feel like the same material as the other Nico lures I've used. And it seems a lot less durable. I mean, that one only lasted two fish, so. That's a little annoying, because I think I paid $6 for a five pack of these things, which is, which is pretty expensive, so. Oh my gosh, two spotted bass, one's big. Yeah, one's pretty dang big. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a good spot of bass. Man, that's gotta be a pound and a half and he's like in a foot of water. Don't think he's gonna eat this though. There's another smaller one next to him. Got something, there we go. I think it's a bluegill. There we go, or this might be a red breast. Um, it might be a hybrid between a bluegill and a red breast. I mean, it kind of just looks like a red breast, just less colorful. Yeah, I think it's a red breast actually. Well, there we go. I saw a nice little one and a half pound spotted bass, like a foot of water over there, but he wasn't 
definitely didn't look like it was going to bite that thing, so. Oh well, I'll take another red breast though. I'm right there. Well, that was actually the last fish that I caught that day. I only fished for about an hour at that creek. Caught three fish on the caddy fly, which wasn't the best, but now I'm back out fishing at a little spillway actually, which I fished at a couple times. Caught some fish out of it, so I know they're in here, and I'm hoping I can get a few more fish on this little caddy fly. Ooh, I see some bluegill. Oh my gosh, I see a lot of bluegill. First cast. Dude, there's a ton of bluegill over here. Or well, this is a green sunfish, but ooh, that's a cool looking green sunfish. All right, well that's a good sign. I saw a ton of them in here and the water is like super duper shallow right now. And green sunfish are a species that can live in like basically any condition. So I bet there's actually a bunch of these guys in here. All right, well hopefully I won't spook the uh, other fish when I let this guy go, but I'll just give him a little plop right there. And there are a bunch more fish in here. It did not take this caddy fly long to uh, catch a fish here. Well, man, there's a ton of fish all up in these rocks. Like it's pretty shallow, but these rocks might kind of go down and I think they're all hiding in these crevices. And there's a bunch of them just right above the rocks. Oh my gosh, got him. Dude, this one hit it as soon as it hit the water. A little bluegill. All right, well there's a lot of fish in this spillway and they all seem pretty hungry, so. I bet we'll get a bunch. This is just a little baby bluegill. You gotta be kidding me, I see two little bass right now and of course I get, I'm hung up. Ooh, got unstuck. Ooh, got him, nice, I got the bass. I saw this little bass, there's actually two of them. Oh no! Oh, there he is. He's still right there. I'll get him. No, yo. Dang it. Well, he got away so I couldn't hold him, but that still counts as a catch. I had him over land. Got him. There we go. It's another green sunfish, it looks like it. Yep, another little green sunfish. Unfortunately, I lost another one of these things. I got it stuck in that huge clump of weeds, pulled it, and it broke, and I couldn't find it, so I had to tie a new one on that wasted a few minutes, but there we go. Oh, uh, another little green sunfish. He went in the water. Got one. Ooh, there we go. That was the first one I actually caught kind of way out there, and it's a little green sunfish, another one. Look pretty cool. They're, these fish are very dark, mainly because I think they're just in really shallow water. Ooh, got one something. Ooh, man, it was putting up a fight. It seems bigger, but uh, it's just another bluegill. I mean, it is the biggest bluegill, bluegill we've caught. It's only the second bluegill, but it's a good, good, good bit bigger than the other one. Unfortunately, I did hook him in the eye a little, but probably be okay. All right, not a bad little bluegill. It's probably the best catch at this spillway so far. Got him right there. One just blew up on this thing as I was really an in. Oh, well, that was a quick release right there. It was another green sunfish. Got him. Ooh. Feels felt better for a second, but nope. It's just another little green sunfish. I know it's kind of getting dark now. Hopefully the GoPro can see that okay, but another fish. Well, I just broke off in that little thing right there guess I'm just gonna call it a day now. I'm definitely glad that I came back out here to try out that little uh, caddy fly again. I definitely did not have the best luck with it the other day at that creek. I mean, I think it's just because that creek was a really fast flowing creek and it's just, just such a light lure that it was kind of hard to fish it there. So I only caught three fish there in one hour, but then when I came to the spillway, I fished for about 40 minutes before I lost all the caddy flies I had left. And I caught, I think, seven fish. So 
it did pretty well here and uh, I definitely think it's a good little lure. I think I'd totally recommend it to you. Um, I have a Amazon link for it down below if you want to check it out. They're a little bit pricey, but I mean, if I were to do this again, I think I would glue the caddy fly to the uh, trout magnet jig head um, just to keep it up there because it was actually fairly durable, but it slid off the hook fairly easily. So I think that super glue would prevent it from sliding off the hook easily. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Actually, it's not the end of the video. I'm gonna have a bonus catch at the end of a fish I caught earlier today. But uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all on that next video. Thanks for watching. We got, we got a fish. There we go. Oh, I got a fish. But, oh, there you go. Little red breast. <laughs> and I was filming. This is probably going to be added on to the end of another video that I was filming. I don't know which video that is yet, but uh, I'm driving around with my friend Ben, who's been in some videos before. And uh, we just stopped at this lake. We stopped at another lake a little while ago. And actually. <laughs> And basically I got a little red breast sunfish, which he got every little bit of that. Uh, he got all three treble hooks. Oh, well, there he goes. I just dropped him in the water. He kind of flopped in the water. It was a little tricky to get him off, but I'm glad I caught something. <laughs>